Hey guys, it's Bren, and today, whoo, today, I tell ya, uh, today was kind of like Candle Lovers Black Friday. It's the 850 candle sale at Bath and Body Works. It's the best sale that they do on their candles all year round. You can combine that with coupons. So, of course, I went. Um, I wasn't gonna do a haul video right away because some of the candles that I got today, I got a ton of them. I was gonna, uh, or I am going to, exchange for some of the new ones that are coming out in a couple of weeks or next week or who knows when. And I was just gonna wait till after I was done with that and then do like a haul video. But I have a story for you and I need to blow off a little steam. So this might be a little bit of a rant. Um, it's been righted. I'll start with that. Customer service righted the issue, but I still got really worked up about it. I'm gonna try not to curse because Josh's kids watch all my videos. Um, hi Brantley, but I'm very, adult mad right now. Um, so first of all, I woke up early, went to the mall. It was packed. And I mean, the Bath and Body Works store at least was packed. And there were uh, no familiar faces in the store. I mean, I shop at the store a couple times a week. I know all of the regular sales associates and the managers. I did not see anybody I knew. It was all temporary holiday help, which, you know, whatever. Um, but I felt like on a big day like that, they should have some of their seasoned people there. And not to sound like uppity or whatever, but like, it's just the truth. Like, I know a little bit more about the store and their policies than these temporary helpers. So when you get into a situation where there is a discrepancy or an argument or a disagreement, it's a little frustrating when you're arguing with someone who's only worked there for two weeks. <sighs> and even the manager at the store was someone I did not recognize at all. It's hard to believe they would have a holiday help manager, but I just have never seen this manager before. So what happened is I had two sets of coupons from the most recent mailer. In these uh, coupons, you get a free item with $10 purchase, up to $13 value, and attached to it was a white coupon that was five off 20, 10 off 30, or 15 off 40. And both coupons say on the back, you cannot combine them with any other offers, but you can combine them with each other. So for example, this one for a free item says, may only be combined in store with the five off 20, 10 off 30, 15 off 40 offer, may not be combined with anything else. And the other coupon said you can combine it with this one. So I get two sets because I have two sets of coupons because one's mine and one's my mom's. Some of the coupons and one of the free items were from my mom. So I'm not like cheating and collecting extra coupons or anything like that. I only have one mailing address. I only get one set of coupons, but my mom gets them too. And so um, I had two bags, two of the big old Navy bags, which they were out of by the time I left. There were so many people in the store. Um, and I had five candles in each bag, which would come to at 8.50 each. 40 to 50, and then I had two free items, one in each. So I went up with my first set of five candles and a 1050 candle holder, which that's what I wanted to be my free item with any purchase up to $10 can be combined with the 10 or the 15 off 40. So I was spending 40 to 50. I should have been able to take 15 off that, brings me to around 25 ish, and then get a free item. So I hand my set of coupons, the five candles, the candle holder to the sales associate. She rips up both of my coupons, rings me up $35. And I'm like, ooh, that doesn't seem right. Then she says, as soon as I say that, I mean, there's no thinking about it like she knew it was coming. Oh, well, you can't get a free item unless you meet the coupon criteria separately. You would have to spend 10 more dollars to get the free item. So why did you take my coupon and rip it up? You should have handed me that coupon back. It's like she was trying to pull one over on me. She just took the coupons, ripped them up, rang me up, charged me full price for the candle holder. So why did you take my free item coupon? But she, also, she's wrong. I mean, that almost made me more mad than her. That did make me more mad than her actually being wrong about the policy. Just the fact that she, why did you take my coupon and rip it up if you weren't giving me an item for free? And you obviously know you're not giving me an item for free because as soon as I said, that's not right. You knew exactly what I was thinking. So I'm sitting there with the other set of coupons still in my hand and I'm reading to her, may be combined in store. You know, I'm reading the whole thing and I'm like, and there, she's trying to explain it to me like I'm stupid. No, you have you can combine them in the same transaction, but you have to spend at least 50 if you want to take 10 off or you want to take 15 off 40 and then get a free item with $10 because you have to meet the coupon criteria separately. And I am like, that is not combining the coupons. Like you're not combining the coupons if you have to meet the coupon criteria separately. And I know that that is not 
the policy because on the last mailer there were two coupons that were attached that had the same verbiage on them where they said can't be combined with other offers but can be combined with each other and one was 10 off 30 and one was a free signature full size signature item and you could spend twenty dollars thirty dollars take 10 off and get the free item on top of that and you could combine those and I know this so the manager that I don't know comes over I didn't even know she was the manager at first same thing. We have the same exact conversation, but it says that you can combine them and I'm still spending $25 when you take my 15 off 40. So I should still get a free item. No, you have to spend 10 more dollars. You have to meet the coupons separately. That's not combining the coupons. Well, it is combining them in the same transaction. Oh Lordy. And what makes me so mad is that there were some other people in line with me that had the same coupons and we were talking about it and I was telling them that they could you know, get the free item and everything like that. And so they're getting screwed too. And who knows how many other people and in that moment, so first I start asking, I'm like, okay, like, is Stacy here? Is Terry here? Is Jen here? I'm asking for all of the people that I know that work there and the managers. Nope, not here, not here, not here, not here. And again, I don't know who this manager that I'm talking to is. And I, I say something to her like, I shop here a lot and it's always like this. Like you can combine them and this is, she's like, well, ever since I've worked here, it's not been like that. I'm like, Bitch, you've worked here like a week, I think. You know, <clears throat> so in that moment, again, crowded store, packed, big line behind me. Other people are looking. I'm not a confrontational person, so this is a very awkward for me. I'm thinking about the conversations that I've had with other, uh, you know, people on the candle groups that I'm in and everything like that about how you should never stand down. You should call customer service right there in the store. But I didn't do that. I just said, okay, well, I don't want those. I don't want that non-free item anymore. I don't want to pay full price for that holder that you ripped up my coupon for no reason because I'm not getting anything for free. And I said, I don't want that. So she has to redo the whole transaction. I've never put my credit card in at this point, thank goodness. Uh, she re-rings re it up and as she's doing so, I say, can I get my free item coupon back since I'm not getting a free item? And she has to go hunt another one down to get back to me since she ripped it up. Again, that's more what made me mad than anything. So I leave with just my two sets of five candles for five fifty ish each, because forty two fifty minus fifteen off each, whatever. I just I leave with my ten candles, and I take them out to my car, and I'm so fired up in that moment. I'm so mad, and I'm ugh. I'm like, okay, I need to calm down. I had to go back in the store and get some other things, did a little other shopping. By the way, Yankee has a coupon on their Facebook right now for a free small tumbler with any purchase. I got a crunchy pistachio melt cup and then the Mary Berry Linzer small tumbler, but you could get like a votive and get a small tumbler, whatever. Uh, my mom did it too. So that's a good deal. Check that out. And then I got, uh, when I bought that, the free, what is it? Free medium jar with any purchase good at the end of December. Okay. But anyway, did a little more shopping. I went into Charm and Charlie and spent like 30 bucks on absolute crap because I was so like mad. I, I needed retail therapy to help me calm down from my experience shopping at Bath and Body Works. And then it kind of negates the whole thing because it's like I was so mad about not getting a $10 free item at Bath and Body Works or two $10 free items. But I dropped 30 bucks at Charm and Charlie. But it's the principle of the thing at this point. It's the principle of the thing. So I get all my other shopping done. I'm still kind of mad even though I've calmed down a little bit. And I, I'm in my car ready to leave them all. And uh, I'm just like thinking about what I'm going to go home and say on YouTube, you know, and I'm like, should I call customer service now? I don't know. I don't know. I've never called customer service before, if you can believe that. But I'm like, I'm going to try. I'm going to do it. And I more so was thinking I'm going to do it just so that when I film, I can tell you guys the whole story and I can say that I called customer service. So I called customer service. I sat on hold for 35 minutes. Oh, I called the number on the back of the coupon. I have a business card somewhere with a, like a different customer service number on it, but I called this one. So it was the only one I had right then. And uh, 35 minutes, the most aggravating thing about that, well, two things. One is they don't tell you your wait time. They just say they're experiencing unusually high call volume. Uh, so I didn't know how long I was going to have to wait. And I told myself I was just going to wait like 20 minutes. And then if I didn't get through, forget it. I was just going home. It wasn't worth it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little sick. But then at the 20 minute mark, I felt like I was like in it, like I had to see it through now. Uh, but also they only literally 
literally have three songs playing on their hold music, three songs over and over and over again. And it's some horrible Christmas love song, a classic version of Jingle Bells, and then this techno dance remix of Jingle Bells that made me want to take one of the candles and bash it into my freaking head. It was horrible. And then it just starts on a loop, three songs. <sighs> but I finally got through and customer service was very nice. Amber at customer service. She was great. She knew exactly what coupons I was talking about because I'm sure that they have had a million people call already today about these coupons. And at first she thought that I was trying to get the 15 off 40 include like that the free item that I wanted to get. I was trying to include that in the 40. And she was like that you can't do you have to take the free item off first and then you still have to have spent 40 and I explained to her that no that's what I was doing that I had like $53 worth of, worth of merchandise that I had $42 worth of candles and a free item that that free item should have come off and then I had still spent 42 so then I should have got 15 off so we ran through the scenario a couple times till we both understood each other and you know sometimes clarity is everything. She was very nice the whole time, though, unlike that store manager or sales associate. And then she agreed, no, I should have been able to get the free item because I was still spending $40 and I knew I was right. So at that point, all she can really do for me is give me a gift card. And so they are sending me a gift card for the amount for the free item. And I said, hey, my mom also had the same exact coupons and could not get the deal either so they're sending me two gift cards to make up for the lost free items which is actually I'd rather have that anyway than these and so that's great that's amazing but what is better than that is that they are going to call the store and talk to the manager and write her and that is what I'm most excited about I mean at this point I don't even really care about the free items although the gift card is very great and I'd be super pissed right now if it wasn't for that but yeah, I'm happy about that. But I am more happy that they asked for the store number and my receipt number and the manager's name. And they are going to call that store and they are going to tell her, hey, we just got a call from a lady that says that you wouldn't let her combine the coupon. And that manager is going to know who it is. And I'm glad she knows who it is. And they are going to tell her what's right. And I think they actually are going to do it because after I hung up the phone with them, um, the customer service called me back and asked for something else from my receipt because they're like, we really just want to make sure that we have the straight. So I really think that they are going to call the store, which makes me very, very happy because I also told them, you know, there were other people in line trying to do the same thing and they're telling everybody wrong. And uh, so, yeah, um, that was that. <laughs> um, so let me show you what I got um, <laughs> now that that's out of the way. Really, though, it all turns out okay. I'm very thankful to customer service. My first call to customer service was a successful one, and they apologized a million times to me for my wait time, but I was like, that's fine. I don't care about sitting on hold for 35 minutes. It's been righted. Um, man, oh, man, though, the drama, the drama. But again, I'm not confrontational, and I'm not a let me speak to the manager type of person, but I just knew I was right on this, and like... Oh, it just made me so mad, but it's, I was already having a lot of anxiety just about going into like the really crowded store and trying to get everything I wanted. I didn't get everything on my list. Um, they didn't have like the super new collections that are supposed to be coming out with the cranberry pear bellini, the mint chocolate and all of that. There's also supposed to be a new like destinations collection coming out, which has uh, a candle in it, according to Bath Body Works Daily Finds called like raspberry margarita, which sounds like it might be the only new one in that collection, which is not strange for Bath Body Works. I feel like last year in December and the year before, like with the glittery lid collections, they're all repackages, but there's like one new one. Like last year's glittery lid collection that launched mid December had the Ital or Italy lemon tart candle which was new but the rest of the collection was all basically repackages and so um, maybe that raspberry margarita is a new one and the rest of that collection is definitely repackages so I have my eye on those and some of these will be exchanged for some of those potentially um, I, I just bought 10 because that made the most sense with the coupons that I had some of these I'll keep though some of these are gifts and so yeah let's get started um Oh, the one that I wasn't able to get that I did want was a Candy Pecans, which Candy Pecans is in this collection, but <clears throat> it's a repackage of Praline Pecan Cobbler, and I know that, and that's fine. I like Praline Pecan Cobbler, and I only have one in my collection, so I didn't mind having another one. That was the only one that I couldn't find that was on my list going in. Um, 
that and the fact that I wanted to get two of these and they only had one. So uh, I grabbed one Holly Berry Balsam. This is a gift. I'm not a big pine person, but it seems like a pretty good, like, universal scent for people that do like pine or Christmas scents. So, again, I was going to get two. I had two people in mind that I was going to give this to. Now I have to decide which one of them is going to get it um, because they only had literally one. I also bought a Frosted Cranberry for a gift and also for a gift gift. Uh, the person that I was going to get a second Holly Berry Balsam for just kind of told me they liked Christmas scents and I didn't know exactly what that meant. So instead of the Holly Berry Balsam, I got a Tis the Season. I figure if you like Christmas scents, this one screams Christmas pretty much. I've always kind of liked this one. It's pretty strong too. Um, another person told me they liked water scents. So this is from the new collection, or new it, I don't know, it's not new, but they put out this collection just for this sale. I would have much rather had them put out either one of the other new collections that's supposed to be launching in December, but um, there's this one called Blue Ocean Waves, not my type of scent at all, but I thought for that person that says they like water scents, it might be good. My problem with it is I feel like it might be kind of light. It's got a little bit of a perfuminess that like holiday sparkle or bergamot waters kind of had but then like a little bit of floral too those always smelled kind of light to me I don't know um it smells good cold I just don't know how it's going to be burning but I'm giving it away anyway so if person doesn't like it they can exchange it um and then also not for me uh Josh wanted a mahogany balsam so basically the conversation like this goes like this Last night I'm over there and I'm telling him, you know, I got to get up early tomorrow to go to the candle sale, biggest sale of the year, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I need some more candles. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I need some more mahogany teak wood. He loves mahogany teak wood. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. He really likes it. And I'm like, well, they do have one called mahogany balsam. That's like mostly mahogany teak wood, but has a little bit of pine in it. And he said, you know, get him that. I really like the label on this one. It's very pretty. So I ended up getting that for him. I told him, or he, he said, I won't burn it when you're over. God, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I even get, I know there's supposed to be some balsam in here, but I don't know. It just smells mostly like mahogany teakwood, but he'll like that. So the first five candles that I just showed you, none of those are for me. They are all for other people. And that's that. That was one transaction. Uh, then for me and the other five, I got a Merry Cookie. This might be the only one out of the five that I keep. Uh, I have about a third left in a Merry Cookie from last year. It's a pretty good scent. It gets kind of burnt towards the bottom, which is why I'm not really enjoying the old one that I had anymore. So it, just one more will do me just fine. Uh, so there's that. And then all these other four that I'm going to show you, again, I might end up exchanging them. I don't know. Now, a lot of people were complaining that their stores are out of hot cocoa and cream. Hot cocoa and cream has been sold out everywhere. It's not online. My store had a ton of them, but they are all the colored wax, clear glass, plain lid version that I think they brought out just for the sale. Um, the older version, of course, actually, I'll grab it and show you. The older version that I have uh, is the white wax frosted glass Christmas tree lid. So a little more deluxe, fancy version. The only thing I worry about with this is that dark colored wax never burns well for me from Bath and Body Works. All of the, like the mocha latte and the espresso candles and all the candles that I have from them that have very dark wax, even like the dark purples, like the black cherry Merlot, I feel like they burn poorly. They get puny wick syndrome. I think it's something about the dye and the formulation of the wax. I feel like they're light wax candles burn better so I would rather have this than this but I just grabbed one of these because again I was just like grabbing four candles knowing that I'll probably exchange them but I know that so many of you love this one we're looking for it I hope your stores put a bunch out as well then I grabbed a marshmallow fireside uh, I don't know why um because yesterday I looked at my marshmallow fireside from fall and it's about half gone and I was like I like this scent sure I'll get it. It's cute packaging. I'll probably end up exchanging it. Uh, same thing happened to me with the sweater weather, which why are these from the same collection but have different lids? The lids were totally random. Uh, I think they're supposed to have this kind of lid. I don't know. Um, I grabbed a sweater weather that I don't need and should exchange just because it's pretty. Um, it really is just like a thing where I have a sweater weather from fall. It is ugly as sin. Let me show you. <laughs> 
horrible. Like the blue wax doesn't match the label. I just think this is one of the ugliest candles. Um, every once in a while I like burning sweater weather, but I don't need more than one. This is how much I've burned of it since fall. I can't burn it for a very long time. So I only got this one because it's really cute, but I have another really cute sweater weather that I display. Here it is from last year that I never burn. So it's like, I really have no need for this at all. And that's why it'll probably get exchanged. But also I just, what an adorable label and it's purple and stuff. And I have half a mind to keep it. It'll just kind of depend on how many of the new ones I want, how many of these I end up exchanging. This one I'll probably definitely exchange. The Lemon Verbena. I literally picked this up thinking, this reminds me of something from my childhood and I can't put my finger on it. Well, I'll just get it because I'll probably end up exchanging it, but maybe I'll also think about what it reminds me of. It's lemony, but it's like soapy too. It's supposed to be, you know, lemon and floral. But to me, it's like, it smells like a lemon soap, like some kind of lemon bubble bath or something. Something like that. Something I used when I was like a young, like 12 or 13, like pre-teenager, some kind of bath product or something. So whatever. I don't, I don't think I'll burn this. I think that'll go back to 10 candles, no free items, but gift card coming my way. And for my mom too, since we weren't able to use our coupons and now I still have the coupons with the gift card. So that's okay. But most of all, I hope that that store manager knows now that she was incorrect. And uh, yeah, I, I'm calm now. Candles make me calm. I am zen. Um, and I got my Yankee too. So it was a good day overall. All right, guys, this is getting a little longer than it needs to be. Uh, thanks for watching. And when I do make some exchanges and get the new candles that are coming out, there will be another video and I'll be reviewing those uh, or at least hauling them, uh, reviewing any of the ones that do happen to be new if there are any. And I guess that's it. I'll let you go for now. Happy shopping. Excited to see all of your hauls from 850 Candle Day on Instagram and whatnot. My Instagram is at Candles and Music if you want to follow me there. I'll see you again soon. Bye.